Thank you, team. Here we go. Rolling. And action. In episode four, Henry at 28 has come round to Claire's apartment to have dinner with her flatmates. The dinner scene was great fun to work on because it's one of the lighter moments within the structure of the six episodes. Episode four is a little bit different in tone and style. It's quite contained um, all in the apartment. We talked about the script, we talked about how, what directions we want to go, and then at some point I just start drawing pictures of Claire's loft. David Nutter, our amazing director, actually set up rehearsal times for all of us to get together before we actually make our way to set. The great thing about rehearsal is once you put it in your body, i.e. You, you move that plate there more than once or twice, you start remembering how you move around a space. This is David Nutter's masterpiece here because he had to plot and map the whole thing of exactly where everyone would go and stand. So at the top of this, I'm kind of here and then I cross out. Should I cross frame? Yeah. For the dinner party scene, it's Henry 28 who's there with Claire, and then Henry 41 shows up. Is someone else coming? No. Because he just happens to be traveling through that time period and can't go anywhere else. Guess who's coming to dinner? Two Henrys show up in the same place at the wrong time. Older Henry lands naked. Could you put something on, a towel, anything? Henry's other girlfriend happens to show up uninvited to our dinner party, and mm. craziness ensues. Then this big reveal of there being two Henrys. Sometimes, like now, there is two of us. The same person is in the same scene. It's a very complicated scene to shoot. But with the evolution of technology, you know, you're able to do it more creatively, should we say. But it's still pretty hard work. The different Henrys should be more a matter of how they carry themselves. Jesus Christ, control yourself. The challenge for the actor is to play those different parts and make distinctions between them that are vivid and clear. Hey, how about some stock tips? Knock yourself out. Old Henry's, you know, wisecracking, but it's a little more sardonic, whereas young Henry's foot forward, he's a bit more hunched. I'm sorry? He's fidgety, you know, he doesn't like to stand still in one place. And these really are friends? Your best friends. Even that one? Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. It's different, but the same enough. All right, team, let's get ready to go. Makeup and hair helped differentiate the two characters. The young Henry has luscious locks and older Henry has the drying, dying hair that I have. It's all about creating a character and helping with the process. Our hair and makeup team is amazing, but there are certain things that they can't correct easily. So that's where visual effects will come in. The same scene is filmed twice with your character in two different age looks. The scene is completely choreographed. The actors know exactly where they are meant to be we had a lot of meetings and did a lot of discussions about how the camera would move around them to keep it dynamic. So you don't get what you often get on TV where it's just a locked off shot and you can tell they've kind of been composited together. And it just came organically once that was the approach. It's fast paced as well, like you're trying to keep up. Claire and I usually prefer to stick to lottery numbers. We do? We do. And then when somebody's having a conversation over there, there's also some looks being shared between myself and Chelsea. Shooting characters around a table is a nightmare for any director, because the number of ways in which you can get the eye line wrong is breathtaking. Good. A touch lower would be better if you could. That's a little too much. What I'll do is I'm gonna get Claire a little higher. We had this incredible machine. It looked like an anaconda. We had a techno dolly, which is a techno crane that can repeat itself. A computer is recording all the moves, all the positions, all the lenses. And we would photograph what we would call the A-side with the Henry that was most prominent in that particular scene. And we would have a stand-in playing that other Henry. And then we would do another pass on the following day with Theo in the other Henry's wardrobe and makeup. I had the help of the masterful Guy, who was playing double Henry. Why are we funding Gomez's rock and roll lifestyle? Because they're your best friends and you need to look after mm. them. Gomez is the best I could do. There are parts where I'm passing a plate to Henry, he's taking a plate. Now, when are you fucking? 2021. A shout out to the editor, uh, Susan Vell, who did this, because it's, uh, it's a hell of a scene to edit. Who the hell are you? What does he look like? You. Exactly. See your dad. Shut up. Hopefully when you're watching it, you aren't thinking about the cool visual effect. Hopefully you're thinking, oh my God, there's two Henrys. Any questions? I loved working with David Nutter, you know, he's an eccentric genius. He was so organized in how we worked and like understanding the technicalities and where we're gonna be and what's happening and when. He had very, very specific ideas of what he wanted to achieve and how he wanted to shoot it. Heather, go to one. It's got all the energy, the humor. It's a pretty great scene.